have huge corporate conglomerate controlling television, radio, cable, newspapers, movie theaters, theme parks, huge amount. country and most of these conglomerates really operate with an eye focused on the bottom line not on fair and balanced reporting Rumor is gonna you have know, Fox News and Bill O'Reilly developing an entire strategy to corner the market in sensationalistic news just to sell ads get eyeballs etc and then all the other major news outlets on cable trying to compete so that who gets to shout the loudest becomes a standard for news practice. I could be delivering the same script with the same graphics in the same studio wearing the same thing um, but on two different days I could be delivering it like this or I could be delivering it like this and if I'm delivering it like this I'm gonna get double the rating. Okay so that's why people yell. I know that's a sexist comment. There's, there's truth to it. The rise of punditry in America is greatly uh, adding to uh, sexism and bias in the media and also c confusing what is uh, fact and uh, what is opinion. You have less and less minutes devoted to the pursuit of strong, independent, long-term investigative journalism. More minutes devoted every year to celebrity news, to gossip. Why? Because it's cheap. Fifteen years ago, it would have been unthinkable for Britney Spears' panties to be a breaking headline on CNN. I want to leave with uh, the Paris Hilton no, story. What's you know happening what? with so Paris? My producer, Andy Jones, is not listening to me. He's putting us to leave. Listen, I just don't believe in covering that story, especially not as the lead story in a newscast when you have a day like today. Can we show, can we show some footage of Paris? Do we have Paris? No, right no, no we can't. Last night? Joe? No, what I'm going to do the news now. I haven't thrown it. There oh, she is. Oh, look at that. That's so oh, look at that. She's so reformed. Reformed. Woman. Yeah, she's reformed. She's shy. All right, to the she news found now. Jesus. Just months after Telecom 96 passed, Access Hollywood debuted and E! News debuted. These are two of the most sort of fat-shaming infotainment outlets we have today, where they follow around women who have eaten a muffin and then circle their stomachs with graphics and point to them and say, baby bump, are they pregnant? They, you know, oh, no, sorry, she just ate a bagel. After photos of the singer performing in her trademark Daisy Duke jean shorts showed off an unflattering belly bulge, just as reps were forced to publicly state she is not pregnant. This notion that these media companies are just giving us what the public wants. No, they're giving us what the media companies want, they're giving us what the advertisers want, and they're packaging it in such a way as to make it sound like it's our fault, and it's not. They're web phenoms. Oh, we got a twin. With fans all over the world. You saw a video of them? Oh, oh her. Sucking a d <gasps> Meet the Golden Sisters. Yes, we your teeth don't fall out. <laughs> my husband got my virginity. Oh, he did. In a park. In a park. Against a tree. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't your average grandmas. I'm going to go to heaven. No, you fooled around too much. The Golden Sisters sneak peek next Sunday at 10, 9 central from the <gasps> of home. <gasps> We have enormous power. 86% of the purchasing power in this country is in the pockets of women. Well, let's use it. I mean, let's use it not to buy those tabloid magazines and not to support the tabloid television shows. A consumer's voice is maybe the most important, powerful voice we have other than as a citizen and, and using our vote.